This is a supplemental tutorial for the book Google SketchUp for Site Design by Daniel Tal. This tutorial is to be used with Chapter 10, Arranging and Presenting the Model. The particular model we're looking at was constructed over several chapters, 7, 8, 9, and 10, in which the custom site elements and the site plan itself were modeled. That includes the building and the building architecture, the bollards, the pedestrian lights, the benches, and various other elements that you can see in here. Looking at my layer list under Window Layers, you can see that all the site elements are arranged on their own particular layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Tree 1 and Tree 2 layer. You can see that I have 3D vegetation that completes the model and the model scene. And I can take various scenes and different exported images of this model from this particular vantage point. Now the key to creating such an detailed models is the use of layers. And again, that's explored in a lot of detail within the book and throughout the book. But I want to show you and emphasize the importance of how you can accomplish much more variety and a lot more detail than just this model by exploring a very detailed and complex model through the rest of this video. Here we have our site plan without any layers turned on. And you can see my layer list to the right. And it's fairly detailed, with most of the layers being turned off. And this is the flat work base, as it's referred to in the book, or the, the site plan. And I'm going to start turning some layers on. I'll turn on some buildings. And the building vendor layer, you can see, was the proposed building for the site. And you can see that these buildings are fairly detailed. And they're all contextual. And there's a separate video tutorial that shows how I used Google Earth and SketchUp to create all this variety in buildings and building architecture. But what I want to go ahead, and I'm going to go start turning on the different layers that you can see. And you can just watch in the model as the different layers are turned on that the objects on those layers start appearing. And I'm going to skip over some layers, and we'll talk about that in the different perspectives we want to create. I'm going to explore this model without turning the trees on yet, so you can see some of the details that are here. I love putting in a lot of people to create very active scenes within a model. You can see that we have table and chairs, there's pedestrian lights, there's a children's playground area. I'm going to pan around. You can see these monuments under the water feature, and that there's little lights streaming across from each one of them. Now I'm going to go tur start turning on my tree layers, and one thing I'm going to explore is that my tree layers have different names, and the way that I've done this for this model is each tree layer represents a different area in the site. So I'm going to turn on my trees plaza. You can see that the layers turned on the trees directly in the plaza, but I have trees for a variety of different locations along the street. This also includes tree grates. you can see that there's a variety of different trees now turned on for the different locations and the context within the model. Now I've done this to help me maintain computer performance, which I normally would not be able to do. And you can see that my model's already reverting to a bit of a wireframe to help me pan around. But ultimately I have a lot of different scenes and shots and a variety of layers that let me control what information is visible and what can be seen in the model. Now you can also see that I have a variety of layers that are not turned on, Oktoberfest and Holiday. And if you go to Window and Scenes, when you create a scene using the Scene Menu Manager in SketchUp, you can actually control what layers are visible. So I've already created some predetermined scenes that I'm going to go ahead and turn on. So I'm going to click on the Oktoberfest tab, and my model view will change. And what's changed is it's turned off some layers in which I now have a band shell with a band and people watching this band. 
within the model. So it would let me change the type of program and what's visible within the within the model itself. And you can see that I also turned on some boots. You can see I have my car layer turned on, so I'm going to go turn that off. It'll turn that car off. And one of the things about using 3D vegetation that I like is I can also change the atmosphere. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my layer list. I'm going to turn on my paint bucket. Use select and use the sample paint. I'm going to select the leaves on the trees. You can see it's sampled the color green. I'm going to turn the color of the tree green to make them yellow. And now I have a true Oktoberfest scene with yellow trees, with people sitting in there, and showing a festival. And I have one more tab that I can explore, and that's Winter. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And my scene changed again. I'm going to go look at my layers, and I'll show you the layers that were turned on. And they're the ones that have the holiday prefix in front of them. So those holiday booths, lights, people, an ice rink, and a variety of different trees for different locations. So I now have a holiday scene. And this has all been accomplished by using different layers and placing different objects on those layers. So I've created a base model that I can now manipulate and adjust to create whatever scenes that I want and to display a variety of different uses, situations, seasons. You can see that these trees are specific, that they have little colored lights on them and obviously this big holiday tree and a different set of light stringers across the, the plaza itself. So that shows you how much control you can create within a model by using layers. And I can go back and I can go back to my predetermined spring scene. And I can just turn my paint bucket back on again. And you can see that the green color, the yellow color is selected, and I'm going to turn that back to green. And that's my model. And that's the importance of using layers within SketchUp.